as of 12.30 a.m. yesterday, we lost power and we are still waiting for power to be restored. This is going to be something I call crafting in the dark. I'm Gabriel and this is Miniature Medium. This is all I have. No computer, no fancy lights. Um, I'm going to disappear in a moment. The only reason that I have light right now is because at the Dollar Tree, they've got these little LED puck lights for a dollar that run on AAA batteries. I happened to buy a buttload of them right before power went out because I had them for another project. But this is what I'm using. I'm not going to be using my phone though because I want to try and reserve as much battery as possible. I have no idea when I'm going to get power back. But I'm not going to let that weigh me down. I'm going to have some fun and do a little bit of crafting. So let's see what it is exactly that I can accomplish with just this little puck light and no electricity. All right. So what I've got here are paper straws and I'm going to use these to make some walkway for the uh, nesting terrain suit. I just went ahead and measured it out. Five and a half inches worth. Uh, that's just long enough for it to fit within the box. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these all to the same length and then we'll glue them together. I'm using a craft miter saw. You don't need one of these. I just find it helpful. I'm using five of these straws because it will give me a one and one quarter inch wide surface. And that is just big enough for a 32 millimeter bay. Uh, this is the little off cut. I'm going to end up using this to make a little barricade. This. Well, the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is just make a little barricade with these cutoffs. Now you can glue them together in stacks like I did this one here. And that would probably work out just fine. But if you wanted to, you could cut these up further and do something else with them. Or you could just throw them in a pile. I'm going to be using uh, tacky glue because that's the best glue that I found that I can actually use for this sort of thing. But there's a little piece of scatter done. And this is the basic premise, but I can show you what it is going to look like. So the next step, once the glue is dried on this, and I'm going to move this out of the way, is I'll take a little bit of chipboard that is the same thickness as a cereal box, and I'll cut a strip about a quarter of an inch wide, about a quarter of an inch wide, and then I'll wrap that around. Sounds like they've got helicopters out running right now. I don't know, can you guys hear that helicopter? Uh, so, unfortunately, that's all I'm gonna be able to film for now. I'll be back once we have power. Okay, so I'm still crafting in the dark. It is now 36, almost 48 hours later, and I still don't have power. Finally able to get my phone charged, my spare phone charged again, so that way I could do a little bit more work. It has been way too hot, and I think I gave up on day three. It is now day five, and I have just seen the first truck in four days, and they're parked right across from my street. I'm hoping that I'll have power tonight, but if I don't, 